Hello guys, this is Uday and today I'm gonna show you how to configure ZF command for Gen Framework. For this you need to go to the Zen, uh, Zen official URL that's framework.zen.com and uh, from there you can download your latest version of the Gen Framework. Let's download the latest version of Gen Framework. In my case I'll be downloading minimum only. So we can just hit the things and download the things once it's been all downloaded what you can do is copy that downloaded Zen framework into the document root of your web server so in my case my document root is application map htdux so let's extract that Zen downloaded Zen framework so to extract the downloaded Zen framework I'll be using the command tar xf send framework minimum. So once it's been extracted, let's rename Zen framework to just Zen. So once it's been renamed, we can go inside this directory and inside the bin. And copy the things zf dot ashes to zf, and we have to give the executable permission for this zf file. So we can do ch mode plus x zf. So once we give the executable permission to this file, we need to put this part in, into the system path. So what we can do is like copy the things copy and then open the profile things from etc profile so at the end of the profile we can add the path to add the path like we can just simply paste the thing and save the file so once it's been saved, if we are lucky and everything is okay, our gen command should be ready to rock and roll. So let's open it on the new terminal. Mind it, you have to open the new terminal. So for that, you will be opening the new terminal. Let's try it, ZF. Yeah, it's working. Now we'll be using ZF command to create like simple project. Uh, to, uh, from the ZF command so let's go to the document root in my case I have just symlink the uh, document root of the hstdux so I can simply do hstdux and I can issue the command ZF command so to create the project with the ZF command we can do like ZF create project and the name of the project let's say ZF demo okay if you do the ls things you can see the zf demo folder what it does is it will create all the required files to execute the gen framework so we don't have to take care of minor issues so let's configure this zf demo into my eclipse id so what we, what i'm gonna do is i'll be configuring that things ZF demo and we already got the folder so we can simply do mm, under this folder I got sbdux okay and then over here it should be ZF demo now we can hit next and uh, we can hit the finish so last thing we need to do is configure the path of the gen library so our gen library is under gen so if everything is okay it should run without any trouble so let's try it let me try in my local host so localhost uh, 
that have the ammo demo okay oops there is something wrong with yeah i haven't start my man server so i need to start my man server once it's been started let's try it again so my man server is started so i can hit the demo yeah and then public yeah it's been executed so on my next video i'll be showing how to create model view controller with the help of ZF things and just on my next video I'll give you like brief idea about the model view controller and how it works on the Zen framework. Till then bye bye.